What's up guys, welcome back to Fever Castle. Today we're going to start off with Narud, castle level 28. Has a level 28 archer that he validated it with. Higher uh, resistances and um, health than me, lower DPS. Unfortunately I think that's better for him. I think my gear is uh, slightly worse than most people's just because I don't have enough hit points. But I'm going to work on that. Mostly when I get to level 20 I think I have a few items that will uh, give me hit points. But not much, it's mostly DPS to be honest. But when I do get to level 30 and I start to upgrade everything, I'll start to use all of the uh, stuff that I'm collecting from my mines. Instead of upgrading stuff, I will uh, try to craft some gear and see if I can get something that's slightly better than what I have right now. Alright, so when you mess up timing out spike traps, you just sort of run past them. That's, that's the goal. <laughs> when you start taking damage, just get across as quickly as possible. Don't try to actually sit there and figure out like where you went wrong. You just run across them and try not to take more damage. Because generally when you're validating these things, you don't care if you take a couple ticks of spike trap damage, you just want the time lower. So it's most likely doable, even if you take a few ticks of damage here and there. Um, I'm guessing that if I continue this way, there's going to be a mine up here. Actually, this looks like the way to go to the castle, because there's a, there's a Stairmaster up there. Let me see what's this way. No, there's no way that this would be all just here for show. Like, that's a lot of points. Oh my god, there's so much here. So I already had killed the mine, unfortunately I didn't know that. Um, if I did know that, I would have just like kited it backwards, because Stairmasters are really weak to kiting. So if I had done that properly... Um, I would have just hit them there and then just started cutting backwards this way. And it, I would have been able to stut stutter step to take almost no damage there. But I figured I should just keep going because I don't want to go over the spike traps again if I haven't killed the mine that's up there. Which I assumed there would be one. Because why would you devote resources, you know, points, um, to something that you could just skip? That would be silly. Alright, this is this is the end, so I'm going to go to the end of the boss room and just try to hopefully um, not take damage. So what I'm trying to do now is get him to auto-attack me, the Snottingham. Um, get him to auto-attack me further up so I, could have cut, so I could kite backwards and take less damage. Unfortunately, I have to go back over these spike traps again because I'm taking way too much. But I don't want to fight here either, so it's kind of difficult both ways. I just need to get this... Yeah, I gotta go up here. Oh my god, there's more creatures up here. Why? Well, I think this is probably gonna be where I die. Yeah. I did not expect there to be creatures up there as well. Okay, heal myself up. So Snottingham is pretty difficult um, if you can't kite him. Basically, as an archer at least, the, the way that I deal with him is that if you're at the edge of his range and you just take one small step back, like if he's attacking you from here and you just move to like right here, um, most of his attacks will hit you. The only one that will, or most of the attacks will miss you rather. The only one that will hit you is that one that leaves a green puddle on the ground. That'll come down and it'll, it'll land and you'll have to move a little bit more uh, farther away. So what I was doing there is the Snottingham was like up in here somewhere. I needed to buy time for a potion. So I was trying to like step up to here and make him auto attack me so I could step back and make him miss and then step back up, get within his range and step back and just kind of kite him like small amounts so that I could just buy a little bit of time so I could uh, use a health potion. Unfortunately it didn't matter, I still ended up dying, but that was at least what I was going for. Uh, but yeah, pretty good castle. We'll jump into number two in just a second. 
Alright, next up we have Cognus. Castle level is a 30. Has a ton of crowns at 2,337. Um, that's very high. I looked at this mage here. So let's take a look to see if I can get through this castle without dying. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, considering the amount of crowns that he has. You know, if you have this many crowns and your castle's easy, you're probably just going to be constantly losing crowns to people. <clears throat> so I'm already have taken a lot of damage from, uh, from that spring, sp the uh, mouse trap into the spike trap, which sucks. Um, it's kind of weird that he has a mine here. I guess I should say that you have a mine here, um, because, you know, knights and mages can heal up off of it, but not the biggest deal in the world. Alright, so continuing on. Try to take as little damage as possible. Alright. Alright, so I've already uh, went past the time. It seems like they may have added a couple sound effects, um, probably in the last patch. Okay, apparently I actually potioned before I got actually hit by that, uh, the fire mines. I like saw it go down and I instantly pressed Q, but I guess it wasn't quick enough. So what I have to do now is just try to kite around and see if I can uh, get a potion used here. pretty interesting you're using shield guys on this. Um, not many people use shields, but it does slow you down a little bit. I like this. It kind of throws you into these jelly walls. You're trying to like set it up basically for yourself. Um, I wonder how this would work. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna see if I can kite this stuff back, um, even outside of this Although this is a little bit more scary because I don't have any potions left. But I feel like if I can kite this stuff, it should a lot of it should die um, just from the spike traps themselves. So we're going to see how this works. Just since I've already I've already like used up the time already, so it really doesn't matter. Oh god. Okay, well I don't know that I'm going to be able to get through this now. Probably not the best idea I had to do this. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. Oh, there we go. I ended up dying. I screwed it up. Around corners, sometimes you screw up that. Um, so I'll just heal myself. And... Now I'll just can now I'll just fight it, because I have a full life bar. But this is what I was hoping for, is that a lot of this stuff is, like, bruised up a little bit. Um, so it's easier for me to kill it all. Yeah, these things are really annoying. Like, they actually freeze you a lot more than I thought they did. Pretty quick, too. I'm not sure if they're faster than the other ones, but they seem really quick to me. It's interesting. I kind of want to keep one of these alive just so I can, like, look at it. I'm gonna end up dying here, probably. Yeah. So I'm thinking I still have a Defendatron um, alive over there. I want to just take a look at it to see. It almost looks like you can't pass through the wall when it's up. And if that's the case, these are actually a lot better than they used to be. And I guess they got stealth, uh, stealth buffed. We'll have to see if that is indeed the case. Oh my god, alright. That's fine. Get you next time. Alright, so I'm going to get back into the boss room. Hopefully that guy will will uh, survive and will actually meet me at the end of the boss room, just so I can take a look at it. Like, 
they aren't dangerous by themselves, so. Like, he's super fast compared to normal ones. Like, they do not move that fast. So you can move through them, but you're so slow that that's going to that's going to set up any Zeke or anything like that to um, to hit you. So I kind of like these. They're, they're actually pretty good. I wish you could have, you know, multiple specializations. I know a lot of people have been asking for that, where you could have um, Defendatrons that are on AoE and Defendatrons that are on those as well. Because they set up shots pretty well. Um, and make it so that you can't really move through them unless you have a roll or, you know, spiral shot or something like that to get through it quickly. So yeah, really good castle. Um, we'll jump into number three in just a second. Alright, and for number three we have Jaragos. Um, castle level 22. Has a knight that validated it. Okay. Can't carry anything else. That is a lot of Ballista Traps. So I'm guessing these are going to be springboards over here, yeah. A lot of people have been doing this recently. Um, where they have a bunch of Ballistas that will deal a ton of damage to you. Unfortunately, I'm a lot higher level, so it's hard for you to see really... Um, you know, if this is working the way you want it to. A lot of them hit me, I know that much, but I mean it only chunked me down a little bit, so I'm not really sure if it's enough damage to kill someone or not. Generally these these Stairmasters aren't um, as good just because the eyeballs are so slow they're very easy to dodge. Unless you have some way of forcing them to hit, like they do a ton of damage and like like three of these Stairmasters if they hit you they could kill you. Um, unfortunately it doesn't really happen all that often, because you can dodge them so easily. You know, that's why I like the other two specializations a little bit better. These have higher damage output um, than both of them, probably even combined. But the fact of the matter is they just don't hit you enough. You really have to try to set it up with, like, Scorpios and, uh, and Hungerbots, but I'm not even sure if that works anymore. I know that there was a point in which you had like damage immunity when you were being pulled by uh, hunger bots and Scorpios. Um, that was a change that came in before open creation. I'm not sure if that got reverted or not. Um, but if you if you wanted to test it out yourself, you know, as you're, as you're validating your own castle, you could like replace a couple of these Seremasters with hunger bots and stuff like that, just to add something that um will move the hero around. You know, you have to deal with that, right? So like. It might not set it up so that you pull them directly through the eyeballs like it used to be, but just having those there, if they forget to dodge one of the hunger bots, maybe it pulls it through a couple of the eyeballs and takes a bunch of damage. If you want to um, try to use these purple Stairmasters, these, uh, these pink ones like this. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this castle and also for this video. Um, I updated the list recently. There's not actually that many. Um, if I take a look, I actually only have three and like a half uh, viewer castles left to record and then I'll be fully caught up so um, if people want to have me do their castle I am starting to get caught up again um, I know probably a lot less people are playing the game because they just haven't really been updating things that the community has been asking for which will just make people stop playing you know um, everybody's been waiting for a balance update so we can see some refreshing new strategies just something that changes up the castle aspect of the game because I think that's why everybody plays it you know if you're gonna play an action RPG by itself you're gonna go through for Diablo 3 or something like that um, uh, Path of Exile things like that are a lot they do it better than this game uh, the real uniqueness of this game is its castle building uh, you know aspects of it um, where you can build your own defense and see people go through it like that that parts cool and that's what that's what excites everybody and wants like first gets them into the game and then they realize every castle is kind of the same uh, like basic five strategies or something just because there's not that much to use you know like these pink stair masters they would be cool if they could be comboed with things like hunger bots a little bit easier unfortunately with you know camera rotation that got impl implemented a while ago um, and things like that it makes it a lot harder for you to uh, actually like get hunger bots to pull them and also hunger bots are just worse than they used to be they used to be much faster if you go back and watch some of my really early videos hunger bots used to have their hook that would like 
fly from like the corner of the screen, it would be able to like hit you super far, and it was really really quick as well um, when you got up to level 24. Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. But enough of ranting about Mighty Quest. Um, if you want to be a part of Eurocast, it's like I said, you can email me at frenzycastleruns at hotmail.com. Um, you know, give me your castle name, and also add me to your friends list. You have to be level 20 and above, and I will do your castle whenever I have time which I should have time next week to do any castles that get emailed to me. And if we run out of castles, um, I am starting to level up, so I will eventually get up to a level 30 castle and do a defense video. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really know what I'm really going to do with that. The only thing that I'm excited about is uh, the spiders, the uh, webmasters. I think they boosted those up to level 30. They might be still 28, I'm not sure, but those um, are really good units, so I'll probably be using a couple of those and uh, just basic spike trap stuff like that that you see in almost every other castle. So, I mean, there's not, not going to be tons exciting. Um, I might try to do some fancy things with with uh, webmasters, but I'm not sure how well they're going to work. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.